short term liquidity ratio means the ratio which is used to determine short term debt paying capacity of a firm for a certain period of time like we have current ratio which tells that how much capacity a firm has in order to pay off its current liabilities out of its current assets ab misal ke taur par हमारे पास करंट एसेट्स अगर आठ लाख रुपए के हैं और करंट लाइबिलिटीज पाँच लाख दो हज़ार तीन सौ पचास रुपये की हैं एंड वी डिवाइड करंट एसेट्स विद करंट लाइबिलिटीज द आंसर कम टू वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव नाइन और वन पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स दिस मीन्स फॉर एवरी वन रुपी करंट लाइबिलिटी द फर्म हैज करंट एसेट्स ऑफ वन पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स रुपीज इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन से डेट current assets are in excess of 60% of the current liabilities apparently this is this is fairly good condition for a company to have fairly good current assets in excess of its current liabilities there is no such standard that how much this current ratio should be but accounting accountants are agreed on a ratio of 2 this means that current assets should be at least twice of the current liabilities then we have quick ratio this ratio tells us that how much quick assets a firm has to cover its current liabilities to de to determine quick assets we deduct non quick assets from the current assets and there are on average two types of non current assets non non quick or non liquid assets one is inventory and the second is prepayments so when we deduct these two items from the current assets the resulting assets are called as quick assets if we divide current quick assets by current liabilities the answers we have using the data is 1.27 this means to pay off a 1 rupee current liability the firm has 1.27 rupees of current assets or in other words the current uh, the quick assets are 27% in excess of the current liabilities again the answer or ratio is fairly good the accountants are agreed that a firm at least should have current quick assets equal to its current liabilities a more refined ratio of quick ratio is the absolute liquid ratio this means this ratio tells us that how much current assets that can be used as absolutely in relation to the cash a firm has in relation to its current liabilities to determine absolute liquid assets we deduct from current assets three different current assets like we deduct prepayments inventories and receivables from current assets and the resulting assets are known as then absolute liquid assets let's say we have 515000 rupees in absolute liquid as assets and 502350 is current liabilities if we divide absolute liquid assets over current liabilities and we get a ratio of 1.03 ratio 1 this means that absolute liquid assets are almost equal to the current liabilities this fairly a good ratio fairly a good ratio uh, generally it is said that absolute liquid assets should be at least equal to half of the current liabilities if we see this standard we can say using this ratio that this particular firm is in excellent condition with reference to the absolute liquid ratio there is a very narrow current ratio or uh, a narrow form of liquidity ratio and that is cash ratio we use this ratio to determine that how much cash a firm has in relation to its current liabilities we include only cash and bank to determine this ratio 
let's say we have 340,000 rupees as cash and bank and as usual we have 502,350 in our current liabilities if we divide 340,000 over the current liabilities of 502,350 we get a ratio of 0.68 this ratio means that the firm has an, an amount equal to 68% of the current liabilities in its cash and bank balances and this is to me a very fair uh, ratio that at least in emergency uh, using this ratio the firm is equal to the firm can pay 68% of its current liabilities in case of an urgent need the uh, the creditors ask for the immediate payment